Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. I hope you're doing good. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Today's video is all about wide leg trousers. So as somebody who really struggles with wide leg trousers, I thought what a great video to start the new year with because I have the shortest legs. I'm five foot two, but then I have very curvaceous thighs. So I'm a 14 to 16 in trousers which I find is the hardest body shape and style to get wide leg trousers. If you're someone who's tall or got long legs, wide leg trousers look like a dream on you. But for someone like me, because I'm so short, it can really make me look shorter and frumpier. So I have got a real selection to share with you today. I've got seven brands to share with you from Abercrombie to Primark. We've got a real variety of budgets in mind but they are all wide leg trousers, so I'm really excited to try them on with you. I've not tried any of these on apart from the Abercrombie ones, which I'm wearing now, which, spoiler alert, they're amazing. So the rest I'm gonna try on with you blind, and we're gonna see if they look nice. So be prepared for some horror stories. I can imagine it's gonna happen already, so let's get going. Number one are these ones, which I mentioned from Abercrombie, and I have to say, these are incredible quality and fit. I have shared these already on Instagram and TikTok, but they deserve the Shining Star Award in this haul. I mean, I'm hopeful that there's gonna be some more in here that are gonna be amazing, but in terms of wow factor when I first put them on, these Abercrombie ones, the quality is perfect. These are 72 pounds. I think they're actually currently in the sale. Abercrombie have got a really great sale on right now. And I've got these in a, 32 short which i think is a 14 short so 32 waist i really struggle with abercrombie on the website because it is an american sizing but aim for a 32 short if you're a 14 to 16 and they're actually quite big like there's a lot of room there as you can see here on this full length video they are such a great length and the fit is just gorgeous the material i love them I actually probably could size down now um, and they're really great with heels but they'll also be great with trainers as well. I'm actually styling all of today's trousers with this ELR style looks knit rib top. It's actually not a bodysuit, it's a top but I absolutely love these for work, they're so comfortable and they just look so smart with wide leg trouser style whether it's trainers or it's heels they're going to look so sophisticated as a look together. Now I've got on these River Island ones. These ones are a little bit more of a high waist than the Abercrombie black ones I showed you already. And the fit of these is lovely. I just think the length is a little bit long for me, so I'd probably have these taken up. But for the price, I actually really love these ones as well. I think they are so, so, so forgiving and a really nice high waist. I do think the Abercrombie ones day to day would get more wear just because they've got these ones have got elastic at the band just like the Abercrombie ones but I think because the waistband is just so high it just feel like it's pushing on my stomach so I can imagine being sat at my desk in these all day would be quite compressing and um, if I was wearing them for work however if you want in the more of a day-to-day -day smart trouser that you can dress up and down these ones are a great formal trouser I actually filmed these at Christmas with the matching waistcoat which looked so gorgeous um, but today I've just teamed it up with this ELR style t-shirt bodysuit called Lauren and it's really compressing my tummy area here which is working really nicely with this high waistband so it's really bringing me in at the waist as you can see. The full length view you can see here they are too long for me but I do really love the style of them I think the leg at the front is just so flattering and the bum is also great too. I've got these ones in a size 14 and I think size wise they're actually really good because as I mentioned before at the start of this video I do carry a lot of my weight here on my thighs and here so straight leg trousers can sometimes really ride up here and look really unforgiving whereas these are really flattering and I would say these have taken me by surprise just how gorgeous and elegant of a trouser these are. Great for someone who's a little bit taller maybe but like I said if you're willing to invest in getting them taken up to be the perfect length for you then I think these are a really good buy as well. This next look is all new look. I've got these new look trousers on which are in a size 14 and I actually got these in the sale. They were supposed to be £32.99 and I got them for £24.74. They're probably even cheaper now. I got these in a 14 like I just said. I do really like them but in comparison 
to the Abercrombie and the River Island, I feel like if I hadn't tried those on and loved them so much, then I probably would have favoured these more. But I feel like they do slightly do that thing I mentioned where it's like too short in the seam there and too high here um, for my waist because my waist is different size to my hip ratio. So I actually think these trousers aren't the top of the list. However, if you're taller, they probably are a really good cheaper version of the Abercrombie and the River Island ones I've showed you. However, I think the length is much better for my legs. As you can see on the full length here, as a look, it looks really nice. Um, the shirt I'm wearing underneath is new look and the jumper I've put on top is new look and I've put a coat on here which is from River Island. But overall, this look is really smart for work. Um, if this is more of a workwear look you're looking for. But equally, if you didn't want to wear it for work and you wanted to make it a little bit more casual, you could just put it on with trainers and keep this jumper on and then the same coat and a cross body bag as well. Next, we have got Autograph by Marks and Spencers. These ones are in a size 14 again, but these look extremely small in comparison to all the other ones I've tried on. I feel like these ones are really similar to the style of the new look ones, but they're in a bit more of a structured fabric. So you can see, they're not as soft, so I feel like wearing these to your desk or, I don't know, for a long period of time, they're not my favorite. And I feel like because they are a smaller 14 than the rest, they're just pulling slightly here, if you can see that. So the drop is not as flattering because it's tighter here. And it's also a lot more fitted on my waist. So the comparison, between these Marks and Spencers ones and the Abercrombie ones that I tried on at the beginning, there's a real size difference. Like the Abercrombie ones, you could tell were really stretchy, whereas this has got no elastic in the back. It's a bit more structured and the fabric's a lot more structured, so there's not as much elastine in the fabric. So I'm not sure. I had high hopes for Marks and Spencers autograph range, but I just feel like these are a bit of a fail, to be honest. They're a nice trouser. They, you can feel the quality, but I think they were super expensive. They were 80 pounds for these trousers. These trousers were 80 pounds and I just think if I'm gonna invest in a high quality trouser, I'm definitely gonna go to Abercrombie. The Abercrombie ones were 72 pounds, so I feel like if you're gonna make a choice between two black trousers, if it's gonna be an M&S or an Abercrombie for that kind of price point, I'd definitely go for the Abercrombie ones over these ones. Now we have got Primark, but I've gone off black. They didn't have any black trousers in my size, so I picked these ones up that are from the Rita Aura range. I've got them in a 16 and they were 18 pounds. So a little bit of a difference in price compared to some of the other ones I've tried on and the quality still feels really good. I'm glad I got a 16 because I think Primark sometimes in more structured fabrics can be really small. They are just, gorgeous they are stunning they fit so well i think i actually might have the matching blazers to this somewhere but by accident 18 pounds the quality of those for 18 pounds wow i'm gonna try it with this adenola t-shirt i do think they are a little bit too big for me but if i went for the small size i don't think it'd hang in the same way and be as flattering on the leg so i might just have it taken in ever so slightly on the waist or it'll be amazing when in a second I'm going to put a jumper over the top tucking it in you'll have enough room for work to tuck it in I'm actually going to style this with trainers I think they are ever so slightly too long with trainers but I absolutely love this look of a more casual look so obviously it doesn't have to be for the office but in our office we could definitely get away with a more casual look like this and it's still smart casual which I feel like January and February is all about everyone's in smart casual so these are a massive hit for me. I think they are such a good bargain. I wonder if they come in other colors. If you guys spot them in other colors, let me know. But Rita Aura Primark Wide Leg Trousers, 10 out of 10. And then our last trouser is H&M. These are gray. I couldn't get them in black. And I have a really love-hate relationship with H&M trousers. So I'm already holding my breath in the fact that these are not gonna look good because they just do not cater to my body shape in H&M and trousers. I always have to size up. These ones I definitely have sized up already. And the only ones I love are these ones, which are from H&M last year. I think they are still available, but they're really hard to get the black ones available. 
So I'll link both, but I'm actually not hating these as much as I thought. The material is awful, it literally creases. I've already steamed these, but yeah, I just see, I just feel like this is so unflattering. And it's this material, I don't know if you can see that, it's just so like chalky, if that makes sense. But the length's not too bad, they are gonna look great with trainers. But I don't like them, so I'm not even going to try it as a full look. You can just see what it looks like here. A full length view with my socks on. But I'm not even going to try and make this into an outfit because they are a flop. And the ones that I showed you that I really like, which are here, I think they are still available. Um, and I'd prefer those ones, but like I said, they didn't have them in a work shade. I only have them in khaki, beige, and then this like really nice... I'll show you actually. I don't even know what you'd call this. It's like cerulean maybe? So these ones are in a 14. But you can definitely tell the difference in the fabric. Like this is a lot softer, molds to your body, much more flattering. So if you're gonna go to H&M for trousers, I definitely recommend these ones instead. These are 67% recycled polyester, which is why it's got a lot more stretch into them. And I will find them and link them down below as well. So I hope you have enjoyed this wide leg trousers try on. I think we've got our clear favourites there, but let me know down below in the comments which one is your favourite. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I've got loads more helpful videos coming soon. But if you guys have any ideas or any requests, please let me know in the comments. I love making your requests happen. And the same with Instagram and TikTok. I'm always available on there for requests too. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end of this video, I love you so much and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.